Hi, this is Mahmoud Ahmed. In the last section, we've learned how can we design the, our download manager UI using the Qt Designer. And we've also added some icons to the app to make it good. In this section, we will learn how can we connect this UI to our Python code and how can we download simple files from the internet using our download manager. So let's start. First of all, I'll use PyCharm Editor to code and uh, if you didn't know PyCharm it's one of the best Python editors uh, let's see how can we download PyCharm on our PC open google type PyCharm in the search go to the download page PyCharm has two versions professional one and community one the professional is paid and it is a great uh, by the way, or a great editor, but it's uh, it's kind of related to web development using Angular, Django, and so on. But in the desktop development, I think the community edition is is, is a way good. We can use it, and it's actually free. You don't have to pay for it. So in this course, I'll use the community edition. You can download the community from here, depending on your OS. So if you're using Windows, click on Windows, then press download button. This black one. And if you're using Mac, just like me, choose Mac, then click the download button. If you're using Linux, you can see this description so that you can install it on your Linux distro. So let's start. I'll keep, I'll, I'll keep this link in the description notes, in the lecture notes. So if you want to see it or you can search Google for it. It's kind of simple actually. So let's start. First of all, I'll create a new project. So. First, this create cancel and I'll open. I'll open the folder that I created before. This is download Udemy folder and the press open. This will take some time to load. Uh, this will take a while to load the PyQt5 library. Actually, I'm using Anaconda, so this will take a lot of time to load all the Anaconda libraries. Okay. Let's create a new file here and we will call it index. This will be our uh, main file for coding. Now we have this design file, main.ui, and we have also a photo.qrc file which contains all of our icons. Now we need to connect this UI to our Python code. First of all, we need to import the PyQt5 library. So I'll type from byqt5 from byqt5. We need to configure. If we look here, we can see that this is there is an error, unresolved with reference byqt. This is because we had, didn't configure this project uh, interpreter. So from virtual reference, and here we will go to project and we will choose interpreter and we have this interpreter no i'll pick this one the anaconda one actually and i'll click apply then okay as i, I said before this is gonna take a while to load all the bison like version of the anaconda folder okay now let's import by qt5 yeah, we have bike file. Okay, dot qt gui on board asterisk. As we can see here, by charm community will help you and out of complete. And from by qt5 dot sorry dot qt core, we will also import asterisk and from by qt5 dot qt widgets, we will import also asterisk. Then we will import system library for dealing with the system and we will import OS and import OS.bof and we will know now and we also need to import load UIC I'll tell you what this is library or why we're gonna use it from by qt5 dot load dot Sorry, UIC 
onboard load UI type there is an error wait a minute I think it's, it's this error in byte form so let's run this code to see there's an error there is bird error cannot onboard name load UI type um, I'm sure that there is a library called load UI type okay let's say let's review our code Yeah, yeah, this L letter is capital and it's small. Yeah, just like this. Load UI type. This is my mistake, actually. I'm sorry. It's all, uh, this, the L letter is small, not capital. Okay, let me uppercase. We will use this, this, this library, load UI type, to enable us to load that Zion. This main UI file uh, with uh, without uh, converting it to a Python file. Okay. Now we need to create uh, like uh, a UI equal to then load UI type of our design main dot UI. This is our design file. And here let's create our app main class, and I'll call it main app this class will inherit from two things first of all when we started designing our app and the designer we created new project then we picked main window and this and by qt called q main window so we need to type q main window here and the second thing is the join so we will type you up and here we need to override the constructor in this Zion so and we also need to add parent equal to none and here we need to say q main window dot init of parent yeah but first we need where's the sober yeah we forget that the sober sober main app self dot edit also be it yeah we're doing this because we are using this UI file without converting it but if you actually converted it to a Python file we will do the same and so we just will import the main class of this UI file here and we will add it here here, here instead of UI okay now we need to initiate the setup UI method self dot set up UI just like this self yeah. now we've created the main window this this class with this constructor will initiate our design but now we need to, to create the main function of our app, dev main, and here we will create a and this is a queue application. I don't know if you know it or not, but queue application stands for our application. But the queue main window, this queue main window stands for this window. This like let's let's say that PyCharm, it's a one application, but this application has a lot of windows. This is like a Q main window, or this is uh, this is like another main window, and so on. If we open like uh, let's open preference or something, this is a Q widget or, or a window. This is a window, and our app contains many windows, but all these windows in one application. So every app contains only one Q application, but contains many windows. Okay. And this queue application text says that ERGD from us as a parameter. And here we need to take an object window window from our main app 
yeah just like this and we need to show this using the show method and we need to initiate the main loop added exec just like this back the one with underscore and now let's type f for main yeah just like this f main and we will type here main just like this this is the basic structure of our app let's run this code to make sure it's working fine run there is an error no module named photos qrc we're, we're facing this error because this main ui using photos.qrc and we wouldn't convert it to a python so we need to convert this file to a python file so let's open terminal from view here to the window we will choose terminal yeah and let's open the console to take yeah take this and here in the terminal we will type by byui c5 not this byr we have rcc4 because i have bykt5 and bykt4 already installed so we'll use let's set clear and then we will use byrcc5 and we will give it this parameter where is it yeah for the qrc here dot by we forgot to type dash o for out but yeah, just like this and we will give it the name of our photo.qrc this will convert this photo.qrc file into photo underscore rc bison file using bison bykt research file enter and as we can see here we will have another where is this file bwd it's in your name yeah we have this file photo underscore rc the by this is the file that we need okay now if we run the code again yeah we have another error the error meta class conflict the meta class of a drive with class must be an unstrict subclass of meta class of all base okay let's review our code yeah yeah this is an error action this is self yeah let's run our code there is still let's run this code again yeah we have another error actually yeah this letter is not capital it's not an uppercase okay yeah and this is also let's run our code yeah here we are we have our app ui and in the first step we have this window for entering a url and so on and in the other tab we have a place for entering url getting the value information and so on and the playlist this is our app ui okay let's review what we've done in this uh, video first of all we need to convert our cure source file to a bison file so we will use byrcc5 dash o this is stands for the output and we will give it a name like photos underscore rc by and because byqt will use this name by default then we will type the name of our cure source file which is the qrc and press enter this will convert this file to a bison file just like this and uh, and our main Add bison file and text by we need to import the main libraries the main by qt5 libraries qt jwi qt core and the qt widget then we will import the system actually we didn't use os so i'll remove it uh, we import uic this is a library in by 5 which enable us to load our app ui without converting it to a bison file this will give us an advantage of uh, modifying in the design then saving it after saving uh, you will run your code and you will see the change this is instead of converting this ui file to a bison file and uh, every time you need to change you have to convert this 
to I fail to apply some file. And after we finish our project, we will convert the final UI to a Bison file for converting our file packaging and creating an .exe file. Okay, we've imported our main UI using this method load UI type. Do not forget to add this. Actually, let's remove it and see if it's full work or not. It won't work, so add it. Uh, actually, I don't know the reason, but we have to add this in the load UI type name, and we will add. We'll create a class for main app. We will this class will take QMain window because this uh, main UI file is a main window. If you if you created this from Key Designer using Key Widget, so you will type here Key Widget, and uh, this will also take our app UI. And uh, this is the constructor. We we will inherit the, the constructor from the giant file. When we convert to this main UI file to a Bison file, we will see this. Uh, setup UI me method, the main method in this design file. Then we created the main function for our download app. This main function will take an object from the queue application, which takes as that ARG view as a parameter. Then we will take an object from our main class main app. Then we will show it using the show method. Do not forget to use to write add that object. This is the main loop or the, the infinite loop for our UI. Just to enable BikeUT to draw this app uh, continually in, in your screen so that you can see it. And we instructed or we uh, we give the Django the option to start from this from uh, the main class using main. And now, as we can see, we have loaded our app UI using the Bison code. In the next lecture, we will start adding our app features like. Uh, Taking from a URL from here, taking the save location from here, enable browsers for this button, and so on. Okay. Uh, then in the next section, we will learn how can we download from YouTube. Okay. If you have any questions, leave it in the discussion forums. Don't forget to share your feedback and rating with me. If you have any suggestions for the course, okay, leave it and send it. Send me a message with this suggestion. I'll add it to the course. Hope you like this video and see you.